Hello, welcome back. These are the videos. This is a video series on the afterlife with Worldview Connections. I'm Isaac Matthews, and uh, we just kind of. I'm just going to glimpse, uh, take a glimpse from what we talked about in the last video, various religious views on the afterlife and little aspects of that. And we have uh, go back to the last video if you want to hear me read these quotes in full from Bertrand Russell and Jamie McTaggart with a reference of uh, noted by William Leonard Rowe, William Rowe. And so you have those different views about the spirit mind theories, but getting back into the general uh, traditional binary model of the afterlife, um, there's heaven or hell, um, a big feature in you know, they may call different parts different names, but with Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, you have kind of that binary model, though. There's a general paradise, hellfire, hell. Um, so the good people go to heaven, people who are evil go to hell. And again, it gets problematic through all the variations of what consists of, you know, defining someone as a sinner or a, a good person or a saint. Um, but there are developing variations on heaven and hell as well. So some will say it's beyond human understanding. Uh, you can, these are just mere words that are just metaphorical of something beyond our understanding. And it's outside of space and time, heaven and hell, death. You know, the, the spirit goes into another fourth dimension, another realm that is beyond our understanding. And so religion is simply speaking through art and metaphor to try to communicate something um, that is very uh, it's impossible for humans to even understand. And again, going further on the variations of heaven and hell, uh, for some, for example, Christian universalists, there is no hell or hell, which does not last forever. There are variations on that as well. Or there's a spectrum of infinite levels throughout eternity. Um, groups in Hinduism, there are certain sections, uh, groups in LDS Mormonism. Uh, there are different groups of um the, in the occult or paganism that have views on that as well. There are also groups that do not believe in God, but also believe that there are uh, life after death, a consciousness after death of various progressions and uh, things of that nature. So the afterlife has, uh, there's a lot of ideas about the afterlife. Uh, give or take a few of these notes and, and uh, scriptures. This may look a little complex, but this is a general and traditional Christian worldview. Um, starting at the left, your earth life here. There's this, there are, the, of course, a lot of scriptures in here um, based on uh, defining these doctrines of Christianity. And again, Christianity is varied, and there are a lot of different uh, sects within uh, branches within Christianity groups that may have varying views on some of these aspects. But um, there's Hades or Sheol, um, maybe call it purgatory in Catholicism. Um, but you progress through to the right after death. There's various things. Jesus' is second coming. There's a place for eternal life for the righteous and the wicked go to hell. But the this gives a little more detailed uh, view there's the judgment day. And so some of these ideas, if you want to zoom in on some of this and pause it and look up some of these scriptures in the New Testament and in the Bible. Um, of course, there's also the LDS Mormon worldview or the, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And um, I'll have a series on Mormonism, actually. Um, there's a lot of depth to some of their ideas and uh, religious philosophy. But this is basically showing you a simple diagram from pre-mortality, pre-existence, that we all existed eternally, spiritually, and then born on the earth. After the earth, everyone goes to a spirit world and everyone has a chance of resurrection except for those who go to outer darkness, the uh, extreme evil, or as Christianity will call them, sons of perdition. And so we'll end on this slide looking at the variations of eternal nature. So after judgment final judgment where God judges all people according to their their lives, they may go to various degrees of kingdoms or glory, and they base this on the New Testament uh, references in my house or many mansions, etc. But let us know what you think about this very fascinating discussion about the afterlife, and thank you for joining us today. Please leave a comment and subscribe, share with a friend and loved one.